this project uh, bark tracking system basically uh, the this project have three type of user one is customer one is admin and one is a staff uh, developer okay so uh, basically customer can register that project bugs errors in the system and admin can allocate to the users uh, the developer and developer can update the remarks and all the details will, this is a workflow system and all details will be visible to the uh, yeah, admin users okay so once you buy this project this is asp.net c sharp project and sql server is backend once you buy it you will get the database script file then all the source code or uh, project source code and this is documentation like project report installation guide and synopsis so first we will uh, configure our database create the database so for this you can install any version of sql server whichever you have in your system so i am using visual sql server 2014 you can use any latest version also so i'll start sql management studio so once SQL uh, server started, you have to connect to your database. So as per your, uh, you can select server name and connect. Okay. So once uh, database is connected, you have to just click on connect a database tree and you have to create a new database. So I'll right click here and select new database and give the database name. So I'll give like work DB or whatever you want, you can give it. So click on OK. Then just select this database, right click here and click on new query. So you have the database script file okay, in the database folder. Just copy this uh, path, click on file, then open, then file and select that uh, .sql script file. Okay, so whatever database name you have given, I am going bug underscore db. So if it is different, you have to change it. And then you have to select all and click on execute. So it will create all the tables and insert the records. So now if you go there, you will see the tables and you will see the sample record also in it. Just select, you will get the data. Okay. Now this part is over. Now we have to configure your uh, project. So project source code is available in the source code folder. So you have to just start first Visual Studio 2000. I am using Visual Studio 2017. You can use 19 or whatever you have. So Visual Studio you have to just start the Visual Studio. Then click on file, open website. And you have to select that source code folder path. Copy this path and just paste it and click on open. So once you open, you need to see the solution. You can view from Solution Explorer. It will show all the uh, folder structure and files and everything. So here you have to do one thing. You have to just change the web config connection parameter. So this is the, your connection parameter. Okay. Now here you have the data source name and database name. So I am giving database name is bug underscore db. So I have to change here. If it is different, you have to change here. And what is the data source name? So in your SQL server, you can just check here. Right click, select properties. And you can give the name, copy this name and paste here and save this file then you have to select that home page home.aspx right click and set as start page okay now suppose if you want to change anything so there is a you can just double click here you can go design and this is the uh, images everything is available in the image folder so from there you can change the image logo everything okay so you want to add some text here so you can type new text also so we want to put your name on in the bottom of the page so there in can web config file there is a section called develop by here you can put your name like roll number you can put roll number your university name whatever you want then everything is then 
save all the files and then run the project okay this is the default home page of the project and it is showing your name also now suppose i want to see what is the bug is logged in the system this is the box already there it is uh, registered by so i want to see the bug details so i'll click on so you have to log in first okay if you want to add a new bug or if you want to check also you have to log in as an administrator or a staff and there is a customer registration also there so customer want to add his details here so we can add the name say customer name is only catch password you can give the password name and submit customer is sub uh, successful then customer click on customer then customer name is only catch password the customer if you customer want to add a bug on this project so customer click on bug like this is not loading not this one home page is not working priority you can set the priority oh, sorry project which project it is say it is a um, my project then highest open click on add your bug added successfully okay now once admin user login he can view this bug so click on admin the admin user id and password is admin and admin click on login so if you select on bugs that page not loading is coming here okay by default is as sent to administrator now suppose uh, admin want to reassign to the other uh, employee Suppose you want to to this person, okay? And status by default is open. Click on update. Sorry, this uh, date time is year, month, and uh, day format. So the day to now this is assigned to new user. Okay, now it is open. So here is you can have the filter like what is that uh, different option is there like so I want to filter by my project whatever the login with this particular project is showing like I want to view all the and assign by assign also I can filter only one call is assigned to this uh, developer okay so admin have different option also so admin want to add a new project so admin click on project here the project already had add new project is the project name you can set a default username so new project is added college management so when to edit you can edit also delete also like say this is an employee you want to add a new employee add new employee so you can add the login name of the employee so i want to add the name raj password raj is a developer so i can developer name raj kumar so new uh, added this project this id is added raj kumar so raj can log in and view whatever the So admin can assign this particular uh, call to any Raj also. Like say bug, uh, project loading, then Raj Kumar is coming here. Only this part you have to. It is D D A Y Y M M D D D Y format. Since year, month, date format. So it is assigned to Rajkumar. So then, so staff want to log in. Say Raj want to log in. 
so click on to log out and Raj and what is the password we have given one two three what is Raj hmm. now suppose this is uh, but Raj have the only staff, he cannot delete any uh, bugs, only he can update the status. So once he do the changes, uh, suppose he do the changes on 0, 15, and date result also the same date. And he can close, mark close, and say update. Now this is mark is a closed so next time we if anyone see you can see that uh, this uh, case is closed so this is the project there is a three type of user customer uh, admin and staff uh, developer so customer can log a bug even admin user also can log a bug suppose customer any uh, log can done by customer or admin and staff can update the details the developer can update the information and all the details will be visible in the box page and anyone can filter the status like what is the current uh, status of this my all calls all the call logs or box logs in the system so this is the project once you buy it you will get all the source code files and uh, documentation also will get this project files so you need to have Visual Studio and SQL Server to configure this project.